All right, so got some worms that I caught the other day. There we go. All right, I'm being quite liberal with the baits as well. So, oh, just dropped a bit. Uh, that's plenty for that top hook. For the bottom hook, I'd like to put on a decent length bait. Push it up over the eye of the hook, the way it's completely covered. And as you can see, nice big bait. All right, let's cast these out and Hopefully we'll pick up a yellowfin whiting, that's the intended target species, but it's still very early in the season. And with the weather being the way that it is, we haven't actually had too good of conditions for the water to warm up. So I'm not expecting heaps today, but I have caught a couple of undersized mullets so far, so there is at least something to keep me interested. Who knows, maybe the bigger mullet will come in. But as always, got to have a bit of burley. So I've got the burley bucket. Get back in. Burley bucket's in. That way I should just get the wash every now and then. Let's out a little bit of smell. Hopefully that will attract a bit, bit more fish action for us. Tiny little touch. Looks like a little Tommy or a little mullet or something. A couple of tiny touches on that rod as well. There's definitely a lot of little fish around, which is good news. Oh, that one goes. <laughs> Oh, big little bite. It's still on there, yeah. yeah plenty of little fish. There you go, another little mullet. All right, so we're down at uh, Karakalinga Beach, which is just near Normanville. And we're trying for a yellowfin whiting. It's still too early in the season, I think, but it's always worthwhile giving it a shot. There we go. Now I'm fishing those worms, those beach worms. Whoa. Fishing those beach worms that I caught just the other day. I don't know what this is. As I said before, just about anything eats a beach worm anyway. Oh, look at that, little mullet. There you go, shows that uh, plenty of them little things around. All right, back he goes. Well undersized, that one. All right, back out again. Would be nice to get a few bigger ones if they're around. Oh, looks like there's tons of little things. <laughs> there we go, another little baby mullet. Yeah, not a bad looking little fish. Wait. Yep, down he goes. Oh, flick it back in. Done. Oh, well, suppose I better go rebait. Anyway, so I'm down here at Karakalinga Beach. And there's some of those frozen beach worms that I caught the other day. So I'm using for bait. Got a little bit of burley. And 
all I'm doing is just using a standard Paternoster rig. I'm only using a half ounce sinker because it's not exactly rough today, not much wind really. Using size six hooks. These are the Daiichi Longshank ones. Everyone's got their own preference when it comes to hooks. This is what I use. All right, and all you do is just feed the worm on. Pull it up over the eye of the hook. Break it off and you're done. And on to the next one. Go two beautiful baits. All right, while I'm here, I might as well pull in the other rod. Feels like it's got a crab on it. There you go. So it goes to show, even crabs like worms. <laughs> oh, these things are always fun to get off the hooks. No doubt, I'm gonna get nipped. All right. He'll just bury himself, and he's gone. Alright, so what I'm doing, I've got the two rod holders pretty close together. Just makes for easy movement. That one goes over that side. In. And this one over the other way. Now I'm hoping that with the smell going in from the worms and all the activity from the mullet, I should hopefully simulate some other fish to turn up. Like I said, it would be nice to catch a couple of yellow and whiting. There goes that one again. Oh, that was a bit bigger bite. That's good, good news. Oh, I think it's a mullet again. Yeah. Look at him. Greedy little thing. There goes the other one. More mullet, no doubt. and a little salmon trout by the looks. All right, there goes the mullet. Bye-bye. Oh, little salmon trout's falling off. Done. All right, so that there is a baby oh, salmon trout. There you go. Pretty little things. Got the little, the little yellow dots down there. There you go. Right, so I think I might just cut it down to the one rod. Might 
mind you, I don't think I'm going to be here for too much longer, so I might as well just bait it up and use it anyway. And that one's been scun. Alright, more bait. Let's go. Hope the seagulls haven't been eating my bait. Double header of mullet. Uh, lines drop very slack. Mm. That feels like a toady bite, that one. Feels like it's fighting like a toady. Oh, the mighty toady strikes again. Suppose better get another hook. So many small fish. It's this one. Oh, it's that hook. Good. Quick release. No, I'm going to pack this one away. Not going to bother with this one anymore. Got some more worm. Told you everything eats worms. That one went really slack then. Still a little fish banging away at it. The dr 
dreaded toady or puffer fish. Absolutely hate these things. Good way to go through a lot of hooks. There you go, finally got him off. Back he goes. Those toadies become a problem, I'll probably end up just using the one rod so I don't go through much bait. Well, that one's well undersized, so throw that one back. <laughs> 